Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Division and Rationalizing. In this video, I will show you how to do division of radicals and rationalizing denominators. First question, if we have square root of 5 divide the square root of 10, because they have same radical, so we can share the same radical, put the 5 on the top, 10 on the bottom. And also we pay attention, 5 over 10, we can simplify, becomes to 1 over 2. And the same, we did the radicals with fraction inside, so we can make multiply 2 to the bottom and the 2 to the top make a pair of 2 so that we can simplify 2 get the odd radical become 2 and the top become 2 that's a big answer is square root 2 over 2 second question if we have square root 8 divide by square root 7. So in this question, you say 8, 7, they don't have any common fact. So if you do the same with at the first, they cannot simplify. So in this situation, we not put inside the same radical, but I do this one because square root 8, I can simplify first. Square root 8 is 2 square times 2, right? You can write this one, 4 times 2. Because I write 2 square, I'm going to make this outside the radical. The bottom 7, you can multiply another radical 7 to make a pair. So once you write the square root 7 on the bottom, you also write the square root 7 on the top. So you can do Simplify the top and multiply square root 7 to the bottom for next step. Next step is this 2 out of radical. You have 2 root 2 times root 7. And this one, root 7 times root 7 equals 7. Radical gone. So this situation, the answer is 2 over 7. 2 over 7, this together, you can write the radical 14. Also, you can write 2 times square root of 14 over 7, same. The third question, look at if we have this situation. We have square root 3 on the top. The bottom, we have square root 5 plus square root 3, bottom way. This is division. But this is a more, uh, this is one term, this is two terms, right? binomial looks like. For those kind of questions we call it rationalizing denominator. That one, uh, even this is the same rationalizing de denominator, but the, this is a, have two terms, a uh, little bit difficult than that one. But remember last time we did the multiplication radicals, we found one formula is very useful, a plus b, multiply a minus b, right? So it's remind you if you have a plus b, multiply a minus b, we got equals to a square minus b square. If both a and b is radical, after this way, you can see the radical gone, right? So that's why the situation we Follow this pattern, we do this way, see. We have square root 3 on the top. We have root 5 plus root 3. We multiply root 5 minus root 3, which make a plus b, a minus b. And top also root 5 minus root 3, right? So. Sometimes we call root three root five minus root three is the conjugate 
or root 5 plus root 3. So now we have this situation. We have we can do this way. The bottom one we can see root 5 got the a square which is root 5 square and minus b square which is minus root 3 square, right? And this is eventually you will got root 5 square is 5, root 3 square is 3, but top is root 3 times time root 5, which is root 15, right? These two multiply together root 15, and root 3 multiply root 3, the radical gone, we got minus 3, right? Minus 3, so that's the answer here is root 15 minus 3, the final answer will be 2 on the bottom. The top is root 15 minus 3. And nothing you can simplify anymore. This is the answer. So this formula is very useful. Okay, for rationalizing the denominator. Next question. I will show you this way. If you have this kind of question, say uh, four question four. If you have top is root eleven minus root two over this one root five. Now the bottom only one term, top two terms. Most we know we need rationalizing the denominator. So if this bottom is five root five, we should multiply root 5. We don't care what the top. If top can simplify, simplify it. In this case, square root 11, square root 2, both are simplified. So we just multiply root 5, root 5 to the top bottom. And the bottom root 5 multiply root 5, you got the 5, right? The top, you can see root 5 multiply root 11, you got the root 55. Nothing you can simplify. And root 2 multiplied root 5 equal root 10. Also, nothing can simplify. So, this is the answer. Okay? The last question I want to show you is this situation. If we have, a 1 plus root x, the top is 1 minus root x. So, how to do this question? Same thing, we need to rationalize it. So we have 1 plus root x, what by its conjugate, which is 1 minus root x, a plus b, a minus b. Same number, same term, 1 is plus, 1 is minus. The top is 1 minus root x multiply 1 minus root x. And when you simplify this, you can see the bottom one, we got square of this one, a square of the second one. The top is minus minus, we do for your distribution, this is a, actually a perfect square. So we can do 1 times 1 is 1, and then 1 times negative square root x, which is negative square root x, and the square root, negative square root x multiplied by 1 is negative square root x again. Negative times negative is positive, square root x multiplied by square root x, which is square root, you can see square root x square, which is next step, we can simplify this one, get rid of this x outside the radical. So we got the 1 minus x because it's square, right? So the top is 1 minus these two, the same similar radical, combine the coefficient negative 1, negative 1, get the negative 2 radical x, this is plus x. So. This is the answer. No more simplify. The bottom radical gone, but top can be radical is okay. But bottom 
never put the leave any radical. If you still have radical, it, it's not finished, right? So, okay, this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.